Yo, what's going on my people? It's your boy Lyndon. How are we all doing today? I'm back again. Same shirt, same time, same location. Might be like, why recording two videos in a row? I'm probably going to drop two videos at the same time. Is it because we're outside, baby? <laughs> but nah, for real though, for real, for real, for real. Um, basically, I'm going to start a new job soon. Um, well, I'm starting a new job tomorrow and I might not have as much time. I'm going to be very busy around the way getting things in place so i don't know when the next time i'll have time to kind of sit down and make more videos so i just want to kind of get videos out when i can at the moment and this is a topic that i've been wanting to touch on for a while but i know it's one of those videos where it's like this is where people can really like start to bit of backlash of crude disagreements and it's because you see the title of the video and you know what i'm going to get into and yo let's do it let's go so yeah twitter man um I'll be real with you, like it, like it's a Twitter, it's a, it's a platform that like I do like, like it's peak because I genuinely do like the platform, like the idea of the platform is great, uh, it's a platform, I've been on Twitter since 2012 I believe, so yeah, it's crazy, I was literally 13 years old when I created that channel, when I created that account, um, I'm actually quite, quite lucky because there's some people who I remember my age that started an account when they were 12. And when Twitter came in, we're like, yeah, now nah, you guys started too early and cut their accounts off. That was very peak, but I got away with that. So <laughs> I love it. Um, I just came, I uh, opened an account just in time. Just, I was just too late. Um, <laughs> I was late to, I was late to the party, but then at the same time, um, I kept my account. So beautiful scenes. Um, but yeah, no, Twitter is an interesting platform. Um, but especially over the last few years, um, it's definitely become more of a kind of. It's more of a judgment place. Like people don't really kind of people don't really feel free to talk their minds anymore. Um, it is it's more of a place. I feel like it's kind of ridden with anxiety. If I'm being honest, it's one of them where uh, everyone's kind of happy to read. Everyone's kind of happy to judge, like retweet stuff, go through quote tweets. Like people kind of treat it like a second place to find the news. Um, but yo, it's not. There's a vocal minority, I was what I'd say, rather on the good side or the bad side, whether it's if you want to click completely left or completely right, it's like, oh, most people are in the middle, like I say, like 80% of people are in the middle. It's probably, you're probably in 10% on the right and 10% on the left, and most people don't give an opinion on Twitter. Like, that's the mad thing. Like, there's all these users, all these retweets, but honestly, it's probably less than like 10% of accounts that are actually tweeting stuff regularly. But yeah, um, Twitter is a place for people. I'll be real, and I'm not really talking to people who just use Twitter to like, they just see like the odd like news story or people who, um, like I say, they just use Twitter to like follow like, I don't know, football celebrities or whatever. Like, if, but if you use Twitter for more than like an hour a day, every day, this probably applies to you and this is going to hurt you. And I do apologize. And I will, I will kind of prefix this by saying is that I'm definitely in this category as well. I can't avoid it. And this is why I kind of want to make, kind of make awareness to this. Most people that are on Twitter probably suffer some form of bad mental health. Like, if you're chronically online, if you, and for me, kind of, kind of being on Twitter, kind of chronically, I think anytime over an hour, um, because to me, it's like the way that platform set up, the algorithm, kind of the quote tweets. The if you know, if you there, you're someone who like loves quote tweets and likes reading quote tweets about tweets you like and hidden replies and hidden tweets and you love finding the narrative and you're there on the um you're there on the uh, what's it called like the explore i'm thinking explore page like instagram but what's it called you know the page where basically the trending page if you're on a trending page you're there looking at topics seeing what's going on and you're kind of taking it all in like and you can spend probably half an hour at a time scrolling coming off and then when you're bored again you hop on twitter like I'll be real, like that place, if you're on that place for more than an hour a day, you you probably are suffer you probably do you probably are suffering a bit like mentally, like because that place is so negative. Like, let's be real, like and people black like, oh, it's the people you follow. Um and yes, there are some people where you literally will follow like forty people and you'll have a proper clean timeline. But as soon as you really get into Twitter, like I say, now I just want to say I've been on there since 2012. I follow a lot of people, a lot of different people. Um, kind of followed a lot of people. Obviously, when I was younger, obviously it's like people at school. And that's when the timeline was better as well. To be fair, like you weren't taking as much kind of things. And then obviously you, start, you follow a few celebrities, and then like you're watching like podcasts and YouTube videos, and you kind of pick up different content creators, and you pick up kind of you meet like mutual online friends who like the same topics that you are, and all sorts. And as soon as you pick up a few hundred people. 
And then, yeah, it kind of builds from there. And your timeline kind of gets more busier and busier. And what I will say with Twitter is that, like, you might get 10% of tweets that are very positive. It's very like, oh, this person made a great achievement. Oh, what a baller, what a goal. Like, you get, like, oh, this person made great music. music. Oh, this pro- this project looks really good. Like, you get the odd positive tweet. But 80% of it is just, like, negative. Whether it's people being, like, critiqued, um, whether it's them, like, get this person out of here, whether it's, like, cancel culture stuff, whether it's, like, oh, um, this guy can't be legit, whether it's, like, hating on someone's album, like, there's so many things, whether it's the whole dating and relationship, for some reason, it's just taking over Twitter, like, it really is, um, we're in, really in kind of a engagement era, kind of a attention era, um, and Instagram, sorry, Twitter know that, um, so yeah, all these kind of new features, obviously used to just be like likes, and um, used to obviously likes used to be favourites, and retweets, now we have quote tweets, now we have these hidden replies, it's like, it get it's so negative now, um, and the thing is as well, is like, you gotta think as someone who regularly uses Twitter, someone wants to kind of grow, someone that wants to grow their Twitter following. How do you get big on Twitter? You need to have big tweets, big engagements. What tweets get the most engagement? Let's be honest, it's negative tweets. Let's let's be real. Like the easiest way to get um, kind of um, likes on Twitter these days is literally find a tweet where someone says something that's a bit outrageous or a video where someone does something a bit stupid. Like, <laughs> how did he do that? Or you're an idiot. Like, oh, this guy's an idiot. Like, it's literally the easiest way to get kind of attention and likes on Twitter is to be negative, uh, and it's to critique people and it's to kind of put yourself on a level above them. And for some reason, everyone laps to like people in real life. Like, and when I say, I think sometimes we can't be blinded, especially when you have people that are similar to you. Um, in terms of the fact if you hang around people that are all on Twitter kind of the way you're kind of critiquing stuff if you ever get out in real life you're around a table you're at a pub or you're at a restaurant and you're like oh what's this on the timeline <laughs> oh that's so funny <laughs> yes yes bro da, da, da. like yeah that will seem normal but when you have people who are actually doing stuff in life people who are active in real life and you're there constantly bringing up these Twitter things they're like well this guy's got nothing going for him like why is this guy just constantly on the internet why is he just following all these people like what because you, you, you have people that do stuff in real life and you'll tell them about Twitter stuff like all these Twitter stories these Twitter trends and they'll ha- literally have no idea and this is something that I didn't even click like this is something that people people probably pick up on but when I started taking breaks off Twitter and literally not looking at the topics it's like my friends would put stuff in a group chat um or like stuff would get brought up and I'm like I literally had no idea it's like there's a lot of stuff on Twitter that we take in that consumes our mind but the moment you're off Twitter for a few days, you do not give a, sh- you don't care. But when you're on Twitter all the time, you literally have topics in your mind. Literally, you literally have like a trending tab in the back of your head, and you're literally like, I need to check this. I need to check this. Like, even like football, like even like football skills, football transfers. It's like we're going to all the time. You're like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? But when you come off Twitter for like five days, bro, you're not even checking like the score of your team. Like it, it literally isn't that important, but they need you on there just checking stuff, like thinking how things go around. And Twitter, it's just like I say, it's a, I just think it's a bad vibes place. Like, and there's someone who loves it. And I know sometimes there's good days where, oh, Twitter is so funny today. But even Twitter, when there's days Twitter really, Twitter is really funny. It's because it's being mad toxic. Like it's usually quite negative, man. Um, but yeah, I've got a few notes. So I'm just gonna just quickly scrolling through, um, like I said, and I think Twitter as well. One of the big problems is it really has become us versus them. Um, it's really come a place really divisive. Uh, Twitter loves those kind of topics. It loves the kind of topics that make like whether it's men versus females, whether it's high value versus let's say the high value low value thing, whether it's like it'd be religion, it'd be like say sexism, it'd be like all these topics. It's just literally it just feels like every topic is us versus them. Whether it's political, whether it's you say you have the Labour Conservative, whatever, um, the left versus right. Like there's too many topics where it's like. Yo, it knows if you're this person, you follow these people, I'm put uh, topics about this because this is going to trigger you. You're going to look through all the quote tweets. You're going to see who this person is, this person is. You're going to see the hidden replies. You're going to get triggered. You might put some tweets back 
and Twitter loves that. You can go on the explore page, or how many people agree with this person, and that's how you spend like hours a day on Twitter. And there's a lot of people who are like that. And if you're one of the people, I'm sorry, and um, I've been there myself. Like I said, I do like Twitter. I still want to come on there. Um, but yeah, to be fair, the way I'm feeling about Twitter, in the kind of the second part of this video, is that yo, I might, I'm gonna become the arch emesis at some point. It's gonna be start my kind of <laughs> evil story. No, it's not evil. I'm just gonna start probably talk my mind a bit more than able to kind of cut out from it because I think that's something that's important um but yeah especially in this world that we live in right now um is that you need to be in a place where if you really want to speak your mind you really want to put out the tweets and not really think about it is you need to kind of crave kind of success and you need to basically do it away from like a big corporation like yes it's nice to kind of be able to have the ability to work brands and stuff but it's like i don't want to be like this clean cut like clean cut like oh everyone thinks he's amazing type person with no flaws and he'll just say everything they want him to say and stuff like that because yo it's like the moment where you say something even half controversial people want to cancel you people look at your employer and be like what's this what's that it's like that's one of the things i'd hate i'd hate to be in a job where i'm earning like I don't know, high five, low six uh, figures, and like, yo, you put one thing on Twitter, and they're like, this you? Oh, this your LinkedIn? Oh, yeah, I'm mean, message your employer, and you're literally getting emails in real life, in mean, your, your real job from literally being online. Like, social media isn't real, but the way <laughs> the way Twitter goes on sometimes, like, they're connected, it's starting to, it can be real, it can, it can change <laughs> Shit can it can really change and it's mad, like how like sometimes it's like someone I don't know someone really from literally a take on the internet can literally be like oh yeah your job doesn't need you anymore like it's kind of wild it's kind it is wild um and yeah like I say it's kind of it knows how to trigger you um every tweet every interaction every kind of feature they bring out on Twitter it's there it's made to control you man like. As a person, control your thoughts, control your feelings, keep you on the app, keep them paid. Um, yeah, it's bad vibes. And it's one of them where it's like, I, I kind of, I do delete Twitter on and off. Sometimes I get back on it. I can't lie. There was one point where I was looking at my, um, when I was off Twitter, I was looking at my emails. And I'm like, these guys send like, six, you know, this thing was like, these are the popular tweets today on your email. It sent like six a day, bro. So when I'm not on Twitter, it's like, I'm seeing some tweets and be like, oh, let me just click on that. And then suddenly I'm back on Twitter. It's like, they know how to rip you back in. And it's very hard to kind of get away from it. And kind of, as much as the timeline will be negative, you'll see some funny tweets. They know when to put a joke in. They know when to put a meme in. They know when to lift you back up. Uh, yeah, those people, like I say, people in Silicon Valley, wherever they're working, they're working in America, most likely. They know what they're doing, man. It's a hard place. It's a hard place to win. It's a hard place to kind of keep yourself and be real, but I will try. Um, and like I say, the plan for me is to literally be so rich where they can't cancel me. Um, it's to literally live a good life in real life. Some people I've looked up to, obviously, you have the big man, Top G, Top Striker, Andrew Tate. It's like, he can kind of drop stuff on there. He can get kind of suspended, whatever. He doesn't care. His life's lit in real life. Uh, so you like Iman Gazi and the kind of other millionaires where like they will put stuff on there. Uh, they'll be controversial to get a few kind of hate tweets back or whatever. But it's like they're in their own companies and they live very good lives outside of the Twitter sphere. So it's like that's the plan is to kind of be able to be as independent as I can so that if the hate mob comes to me, if 100, 1,000, 10,000 people are like, yeah, Linda, we want you out of here. It's like you can't get me out of here. I'm too lit. I'm too <laughs> lit in real life. And, that, and that's it. Um, but yeah, so, well, that's what, kind of my thoughts on it. Let me know what you think. Don't get me wrong. You do some really good days on Twitter. You do some good news stories. That was good to catch a transfer, good to catch a goal. But, bro, so a lot of the things on there, it's just bad, man. Like, you literally, in your mind, it's taxing. It's taking away from your real-life goals, um, kind of your real-life thoughts. And, yeah, it can be good entertainment, but there's, there's, for me, there's better ways to do it, man, than just being on Twitter for, like, literally, like, hours and hours a week so after my thoughts let me know what you think it's kind of in my head when we go more in depth on stuff if you got kind of critiques leave down a comment below let me know what you think but yeah for me twitter is just bad vibes i think a lot of people that are on there are probably suffering mentally kind of the, all the time they're on there or the negativity um i think yeah do your best to kind of cut it out as much as you can and yeah
like I say, it's trying to do your best. But thank you so much for tuning in. We'll talk about this more soon. Until next time, peace.